Hi, I'm Blaine, and I'm making this video to respond to the concerns of the LGBTQ community regarding my leadership. There are a lot of misconceptions surrounding my response to last year's conversion therapy ban. Last summer, I did not vote to support conversion therapy, nor do I wish to limit the rights of the queer community. In fact, I believe that all people in Lethbridge, in Alberta, need to have access to the therapy and counseling that they need. That's why I voted to support the rights of the LGBTQ people to choose counseling the way that they desire. The contents of the conversion therapy ban can prevent them from doing so. I do not in any way support the torture or abuse of the queer community, which is why I tried to have the words torture and coercion included in our ban. I listen to the people from Lethbridge who support counseling for people regardless of how they identify. I've invited a young mom from the community who's here to share her experience with conversion therapy and explain further why I needed to support people like her. Here is Colette Eichema. I've spoken to Parliament about the issue of conversion therapy because Canada's definition is different from any other jurisdiction in the entire world. I had to oppose our conversion therapy ban because it bans outright therapy that I needed in order to help me heal. When I was a teenager, I was gang raped and I became addicted to hardcore pornography. The gay and bisexual feelings I had escalated and because of the trauma, my sexuality became a source of distress. I even became suicidal. My life was saved when I found help through a 12-step support group and a secular counselor at the University of Lethbridge. This therapy, just because it reduced my non-heterosexual behaviors and attractions, is defined as conversion therapy in Lethbridge's bylaw. If this ban had been in place while I was going through therapy, I would not have recovered from my porn and sex addiction the way that I did. In fact, if it weren't for that support group and for my secular counselor, I'm not even sure if I would be alive to tell you about it, Blaine. I despair of the day that I need this care again and will not be able to find it. Now, our government says I have nothing to worry about because the exemption clause allows for exploratory and legitimate conversations, but by refusing to see the need for myself and people like me to have behavioral therapy as legitimate, they themselves have rejected my lived experience and victimized me again. So Blaine, did you know that the ban that's been adopted by Lethbridge and other Canadian municipalities is different from all other jurisdictions across the world? Yes, as a matter of fact, when we, when we spoke last year throughout all of this, I did not know that it actually bans coerced orientation change and behavioral therapy. That's why the definition is so broad. It actually discriminates against LGBTQ individuals. So our ban doesn't just uh, ban torture or forced counseling. No, it actually bans behavioral therapy that people like me have accessed and needed in our community. Thank you, Colette, for sharing your story. I know how difficult it must have been, and I, I thank you for just being able to explain how this counseling has helped you. I will continue to support the rights of our citizens to have access to holistic care. I'm here to listen to all citizens of Lethbridge, regardless of how they identify. I'm Blaine Hagen, and I'm listening to Lethbridge.